The saying, little drops of water make an ocean, can be used to describe the situation in Cross River State, where the land slowly splits until it becomes a massive ravine. That is the result of erosion, nature's potent weapon against the state. It moves without care of who or what is in its path. Who or what is in its path, destroying everything. The residents understand the enormous risk involved when using this walkway. But what choice do they have? Their words are different, but the message is the same. Help us before erosion takes us. In time to time, like you can see tires here. We use tires, we use different ways to stop this rain from washing this place. Sometimes we bring cement and put, in, put some uh, blocks, but we can't stop it. The, 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 the strength of the water is more than what we can do. When the rain comes again, there will be nowhere for us to pass. We are locked in, we that are living this side. And the gully has destroyed so many houses, and people are stranded. Even one man there, an old man that has been retired for, for some years now, an old man, he's looking for where to lay his head. I'm threatened. Terribly threatened, and my children too. Any day it cries, we are outside. Just leave everything to God because I've tried my best to seek for help, and uh, no help is coming forth. In 2014, it was reported that the World Bank earmarked $500 million as intervention fund to tackle erosion in Cross River State. And a lot more money has been thrown in from various donor agencies over the years. But all efforts appear to be a waste of time, as the money spent seems to only anger the erosion. New map, the World Bank Agency had stepped into it in 2013. I think they have gone a long way because we are where the engineering design has been prepared. The latest reassurance of intent is from the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo at this town hall meeting in Calabar, who says the federal government is throwing everything but the kitchen sink to win this battle. I want to emphasize that, you know, of course, there are several different things that the federal government is doing. You know, I'm sure that you're familiar with the uh, new rules that have just been, well, that are in the budget, and we're hoping that we'll be able to achieve all of this. Uh, the family court of Benin. Road, and uh, some of the original controllers are doing. We believe that these are very important problems. We believe that the people must be given the benefit of this problem. One thing that should be understood is that while everything needed to effectively tackle the problem is being put in place, erosion continues to move with one thing in mind consume until nothing is left.